Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to Disney's Grand Floridian. Today, we're checking out some Easter decorations that they have set up. Brand spanking new Easter has started here at Walt Disney World, more specifically Grand Floridian. Casey and I are going to be dining at the one and only Grand Floridian Cafe. We love coming here and having date nights. And as soon as we saw that they have the Easter cottage up inside the main lobby and the Easter eggs, we knew we had to come here. So that's why we're here. We're also checking out some updates with the new Polynesian Hotel Tower. And look at this magical moment. The monorail has uh, gone on by, but I also want to talk some other news that is on the other coast pertaining to Disneyland. We got some juicy news um, regarding uh, Bob Iger's interview that he just had with, I think, Morgan Stanley. I don't remember what company he had it with, but they, he got into some juicy details. But with that, um, let's have a good night and enjoy the Grand well, Floridian. We haven't been here in a while. I think the last time I was here is probably for the Christmas decoration. Was that when we did our staycation here? Yeah. yeah oh, that, was, that was a while ago. That was like, uh, what, November? December, wasn't it? That wasn't it December? Part of me feels like it was November. You're better with dates than I'm I am. I'm pretty sure it was like November. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm, I feel like it was like beginning of November. I could have sworn it was December. I don't know. Regardless, Actually, we're back. You might be right. I don't know. We're here. I'm excited. I love this place and I can't wait for dinner. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. Good date night. Welcome back, guys. Well, can't really get much of a look of the tower, but it's finally taking shape and color. It pretty much looks like the concept art, but this is as close as we can kind of get. You get a better look when we go on the monorail, but it's coming along. It is coming along. Supposedly that's opening this year. Oh man, another monorail coming on by. But um, I also want to update you guys on the state of the Grand Floridian because the Grand Floridian itself has been going through like a yearly long refurbishment and they're kind of sort of almost done and it's all back together finally. But how have you guys been? I didn't post yesterday. Yesterday I took like a, a personal day, if you want to call it a personal day. I just didn't post. Um, but we're, we're back on it. We're back on it. We got a minivan pulling up. I do like minivans. That's through the Lyft app, if you guys didn't know. I've never been in a minivan before. Neither have I. I just stumbled on my words. I've never been in a minivan before. It's just a Lyft, you know, SUV. I know, but it's cool. cute. It's really cute. I think but it's like a minimum of thirty-five dollars, but oh, they can. I thought it was twenty. No, I believe it's a minimum of thirty-five. It's very blue out today. It's we're getting some rain tonight and into tomorrow. Well, here we go. We're on the, the DVC side. They're so backed up with, you know, the parking, as you guys saw. So we're, we parked over here. Look at the pretty flowers. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to do some shopping tonight, too. We are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we always got to see what they have. We always got to see it. Well, this is nice. We actually found uh, in the, the Grand Cottage, they actually have the offerings over here. I don't know if this is completely everything because I think I saw online there was a bigger, bigger menu. This is good news. Last time we were here, they had like those big machines painting the exterior of the Grand Floridian. I wonder if it's on the other side. I want to go check that out. But I feel like the, the construction is pretty much complete here. If you've been here on the channel for a while, you, um, you know they've been going through refurbishment, but they've been refurbishing all the rooms, they've been painting on the outside, doing a new roof on all of their buildings. Ah, looks like I actually have some still right here. All of those rooms are done. It looks like they're still on the exterior of, actually these are the Grand Villas here at the Grand Floridian. So hopefully this is like the only thing that's left. Like look at this, you can see inside there. That is like a $2,000 a night room. There's actually three rooms in there. This is where like the fancy ones are. You got Grand Flow. And it's still here. I thought it would be gone by now, but it's not. Obviously. However, it looks like this is like the last bit that they have to do because they did that and looks like just this half and they're done or the quarter. And you can actually see, look at this. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to stay there. Hopefully we can get there opening day. If not, we'll 
We'll try to get to that new Polynesian tower as fast as we possibly can. We're also kind of catching the grand flow at the perfect time. You know what I mean? Next week, spring break craziness begins and I'm sure this place is going to be flooding. I'm sure once we get into the main lobby, that's where we're seeing uh, all the crowds. That's true. where the, the cottage is. I mean, that line to get in like gives me feelings that it's probably pretty busy here, but doesn't feel like it yet. No. Like know. usually at this hour though, you know, there's not too many people on the beach. Everyone's gearing on up for the fireworks. So Casey is right. We'll, we'll see how that lobby is. Do you guys remember that Christmas vacation we did that Casey was talking about earlier? It was nuts in there. Let's see if it's nuts in there tonight. But I can't wait to see the eggs because the eggs look amazing. We got two stunning, beautiful views in front of us. Obviously, we have Casey. And then the Grand Flow. Thanks, babe. I like how all that's done now. The Grand Flow is definitely back in its prime state. It's not going to be noisy anymore. It's going to be what you expect this massive grand deluxe resort to be. Very so prestigious, beautiful. it's so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. We also have another Grand Floridian update. I'm filming this video on Tuesday. You guys are seeing it tomorrow on Wednesday. However, um, 1900 Park Fair reservations just were, um, came available today for April 10th and they have a whole new design of the menu. I tried to get a reservation. They literally sold out so quick and I think they're into like May now. So I couldn't get one, but that's finally opening with a whole new menu and different characters. And I've never been there, so I tried to get opening day, but unfortunately couldn't. These flowers look beautiful. All right, let's go on in. Please pardon our pixie dust resort entrance. I don't see any construction going on. There's 1900 Park Fair opening April, and here's where we're dining tonight, but we're here pretty early. This doesn't look that bad. Oh, this is nothing compared to Christmas. Oh my gosh, we have to do this. Oh wait, no, I think we're good. Let's go. This is actually the third year that they only have the Grand Cottage. Did you know that? No, I didn't. So they've been here for three years. Wow. You know what sounds really good? This. That does sound good, but I'm where did we? about the confetti pop. Oh my goodness, our first egg. Do you know what this movie is? James and the Giant Peach, Casey? Um, no, I remember you talking about it and I didn't know it was Disney. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, James and the Giant Peach. And you guys remember James and the Giant Peach? I'm assuming that's James. Yeah, this, oh my gosh, I love this movie. So they have a lot of eggs here. We're gonna take a look at all of them before we get on that massive line. But it's actually not that busy. There's no line for the cottage, which is very nice. Everyone's just in line for the, the eggs itself. Oh, we got these eggs, and this is from Moana, I believe. I don't remember their name. Now, I think if you come at a certain time, you can actually see um, them making the eggs. I think they're probably done by now, unless they're gonna be putting some more out. Yeah. Fabi is the artist, and that's like his notes and like saying, I've always loved the movie Moana. I mean, it's crazy what they do. This is actually wild. This is a perfect time to come to Grandpa, at least for us right now on this day, there's nobody checking in right now. Yeah, early March, I guess. We love that. And that Next week's gonna change. Spot because it's after Princess Marathon weekend, right before spring break crowds. So it's probably like a really good time to, to plan a trip. Facts. Next week's probably gonna be wild. Oh, yeah. I can't wait early to Early March parks. and early March only. <laughs> yeah. This is what we're talking about. Hardly uh, anybody in the area. And it smells good too, you know, we've got the whole place to ourselves. and you know what I just saw over here, guys? Look what I just see over here. Look at this. Is this, is this the Disney Wish? No way. It is, baby. Can't wait to go on that, sucker. I cannot wait. You have a really lovely shirt on today. I don't know if anyone's told you that. <laughs> I purposely wore this shirt today because I wanted to talk about our Disney Wish Cruise, which is on the 15th. If you're gonna be on that cruise, we wanna say hi to all you guys, March 15th. But I think Casey's gonna to wanna to tell you guys this. What did we just learn that's on Castaway? Oh, they just announced that the characters have new outfits to wear at Castaway. So we have to get off. I know originally we said we might not get off the ship, for any of the ports? Or is that the only port? I don't even think we told them that we weren't gonna get off. 
yeah, this is new news, but yeah. uh, we had talked about it just because we know we'll probably go back to Castaway, but we don't know when the next time we'll go back on The Wish, so... Um, we're getting off to we're see you. We're getting off. To Casey's to. request. I, so we're doing I gotta it. See, I gotta see how cute they are. But with that, we're gonna probably go look at some more of the eggs and enjoy this beautiful night here at Grand Flow. Not really crowded, which is great. Well, we just caught it actually when I feel like three groups just rolled on up. Uh, do you know her name? Uh, By the way, I shout out to her. She's uh, from the Ohio State. She played soccer and she watches the video. So thanks for watching. She's really nice. If you guys see her, tell her we sent you. <laughs> We're running into so many of you guys and it it's literally, awesome. it makes like vlogging so much easier because you know you have friends and like you guys around it makes it way more comfortable and like I mean it, it, really, it already usually is but like I just feel extra like confident to yeah. talk to a camera so you guys see us come say hi it's like the best thing ever we love it <laughs> all right let's go check out these eggs there's actually lights on some of these eggs there's no line for the cottage wow, it's just for the eggs oh my gosh we have the sword in the stone I gotta tell Jojo about this one I'll give him a I'll give him a text message but look at this one is this Mickey this is Mickey and Minnie's runaway nothing I think this is like the first I've ever seen like light up egg wise. So cool. We're gonna take a look in the back of all of these and go for the front, but like unbelievable. Oh, this is Tiana? Oh yeah, this could be like a this could be honestly, I think it is in the front. So we have Tiana has an egg. I have no idea what this is, but we have a house. What do we got here? Carolina and uh, Monica are the ones who did this. Oh, it's Daisy Duck's house. That's neat. Casey, okay, so look, it's Daisy Duck's house. I love that. We get more friends. Oh. oh, hey guys. We literally keep on running into you guys here. It is, it is, it's just amazing. Can't really see this inside. Let me just get up the brightness. That's cool. Beautiful. And then probably the best one that we're gonna see is this one. I don't really know, but nothing can stop us now tonight. The Chinese theater. That is so cool. I love that they even included the tiles, like a few of the tiles. I, know, I also good night to come here. never mentioned that these are all edible. Do they eat them at the end? Probably not. I don't know what they do with them at the end. Maybe they feed them to the bees. They definitely do something. Just like they do the gingerbread house. I don't know. I don't know if they're able to eat chocolate. Well, if the gingerbread house is made with chocolate. I think this Mickey's is gonna be my favorite, but we still literally have so many more. So comment down below which one is your guys' favorite. I think they're are just... these chocolate? I think they are. I don't know. I think they are. Oh, speaking of that, Casey, we gotta get you the Easter bunny. What is that called? What is the Easter bunnies your mom gave you growing up all the time? Oh, the bunny figure. My mom used to always give my sister and I bunny big ears. It's like the hollow bunny. He's kind of like, looks like that, but yeah. he just has really big ears. I loved those. Those are our favorites growing up. I guess since we're going to talk about some traditions on Easter, my, um, I guess, Easter t tradition was always going to Ponderosa with all my family. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandparents would invite everybody out and we'd go have Easter dinner at Ponderosa. And then she would give us these eggs with, you know, like, licorice inside, you know, like the, the candy eggs and stuff. And there would be a nice little $10 bill in there for us. <laughs> Guaranteed fun. And she still gives me the $10 till this day. <laughs> well, she does. Yes. That's so cute. Well, the artist is Aurora, and it looks like she just made a koi pond because they had a koi pond growing up. Oh, look at the candy rocks. I think you can get that in the stores. Casey loves this one because it looks like a carton of eggs. It's all the villains. That's a neat one. And then right next we have Snow White. I think some of the best ones are over here. These ones are really cool. Snow White has all the stages of, of animation. That's kind of like the inspiration of this egg. But I don't think Casey's wrong. These are like the big kahuna ones. Oh my gosh, we have one over here. Is this Pete the Dragon? Oh no, no, <gasps> no shot. The Main Street Electrical Parade. My grandpa loved this. Absolutely loved this. Still don't know why they don't have it. 
You know, we need a nighttime parade back at Walt Disney World. That'd be super nice. Don't you think? I think so. No, like for real. Oh, I love it. We've got before. the munchlings. This one's beautiful. You know, like the, the things that Disney sell. It's really detailed. It's unbelievable. Uh oh, security's over here looking for something. They have Hal's Toy Barn! And then we've just got all the characters on an egg, basically. That one's beautiful. I kind of like the Al's Toy Barn one. That's like my childhood right there. But Al's not, Al's not out there ringing. Or like, sorry, uh, like waving, dancing. Oh, Snap, Crackle, Pop. Wait, I think this is my new favorite. That is unbelievable. Beauty and the Beast. Like, look at the detail on this. That's cool. Look at the beast. Now, I was trying to find it as we were going around, but I think all the eggs are done now. You could actually see them, like, do these live, but I think they're all complete. That's stunning. And then we've got Jasmine's castle over there. But I think this one is, I think this one's the best one by far. Now that I think about it, or see it. But we still have more to see over here. Huh, this one's from Elemental. I actually really did enjoy that movie. Not really too much detail on that one, but an Onward. Beautiful one, wow. That's stunning. Emperor's New Groove, I've actually like seen that movie a complete of zero times. Fun fact. We've got a snack egg. That one's cool. I've got no idea what this is, but apparently it's a baby dragon. This is Bambi. I guess we're gonna have to see the other side of that one. Oh, this Alice one is crazy. It's a Rolex cake. Wait, what? I made a Rolex cake once that had moving hands. Oh, oh. Never mind. I was like, there's I a Rolex on there? I didn't read the whole I didn't read the whole thing before I started saying that. This is unbelievable. The back of the Alice egg. That is incredible. Sure enough, here's the back of the Bambi one too. I don't know, comment we we just saw them all, so comment down below which one you guys like. The most. I want to see the onward, the back of the onward here, real quick. It's amazing. These cast members are so incredibly talented. Yeah, you can say that again. Kind of looks it must like be Maui. Fun for them to to get creative and kind of like do pieces that they're inspired to do. Yeah, it'd be fun. Well, we thought there was going to be a huge line, but this is very nice. There is there is not. A huge line. We might even get to go do dinner a little bit early because usually the cafe doesn't have much before the fireworks. But well, we have to get something. I know KC wants what we saw earlier. Ooh, what is that? I want these two. The lemon, we gotta try this. The lemon blueberry and the whoopie pie. Okay, we gotta get that. Ooh, this carrot cake. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've been on my sweet era, for sure. Especially since the gross Girl Scout cookies. Let's go. We got all three. Um, that's going to be our, our dessert after after dinner, which I think we're going to possibly be able to check in early. We'll, we'll see it. But I do know we're going to do some other shopping here. You know, Casey wants to get a bath bomb, bath bomb upstairs. Every time we come here, you have to pretty much get that now. Just don't drop your glass slipper, okay? Actually, do it. Drop your glass slipper. Oh, no. I feel like a few years ago, I probably would have never made like this vlog. I just find it so cool because I know a lot of people might not be interested in like Easter eggs here at the Grand Floridian, but I personally kind of wanted to come here and film it. And that's kind of what I like to do a lot now is just do things that I normally wouldn't do in, in the past. So if you're here, I appreciate it. Just leave a thumbs up and again, comment down which egg was your favorite. I also feel like not everybody knows about the Easter eggs. Everyone seems to know about the gingerbread house, but this one doesn't get as much love. So you gotta spread awareness. Yeah, we're spreading awareness. <laughs> it's just like a, a much different vibe. It's kind of a look at it. Like, you know, this is pretty empty. But the fireworks are kind of starting soon, so that could be the reason as well. 
and we'll try the snacks. We'll let you know which one is our favorite. We're probably gonna do that at home after dinner. Is Casey gonna walk in there? No, surprisingly not. She's going straight to her bath bombs. <laughs> That's a cool sign. Oh, I don't like, feel like I've no ever seen this cool. At the, at the cottage. Yeah, we gotta give it some love, guys. If you're here, come check it out. I mean, maybe it's not good. We'll, we'll have to let you know. Yes. Is it Basin or Bassin? Basin. Did I say Bassin? Oh, you used to think it was Bassin. Okay, until I, Bassin. So I came around. Well, the first time Casey took a bath, she uh, she used isn't it isn't it grand? We want this smell for a whole house, so we're gonna have to get her at least like three of these, three for twenty for sure. Because you have love these. They have a candle with this scent. Oh, let's get it. Here. Let's get they, it. And they just came back in stock. We gotta get it. All right, we're gonna pick up three oh, of these for you. Let's get, one of them is the Easter egg. Should we get an Easter egg? Um, it doesn't look. It looked pretty small. Well, this is cool. So this is how you do it. Oh, that is it. You like it? That is it. So it comes with the the wick inside, and you just fill it up here. And you can mix and match. Do you want two of them? It's two for twenty. Oh, so I'm just kidding. 30. Oh, two through 35, one for 20. I think we'll just do one. But this sells out a lot, guys, so. Nice, we got a candle. I've never done this before, how fun. There's Casey. <laughs> Fill it up to the brim. We've actually changed our mind and decided to get two of them because we love this scent. And all we gotta do is, is check out. Like, this place is very empty today. We came in at the right time. They have Easter bucket bath bombs. That's cute. <gasps> and hippity hop. That's Casey's uh, stuffed animal she grew up with. It was called hippity. Being at Bada Boom, where place is going to be smelling so nice I now. Woohoo! I just have to take a bath today if I have time. <laughs> Depends if we get done with dinner. Dinner's here in about 30 minutes. Um, and we're going to go from there. It turned out to be a good night. This is awesome. I. I'm obsessed with that scent, so if you come here, you've got to try that one. I will not steer you wrong. I promise you it's amazing. It's a good scent. Oh, we should have gone. We could have gone to the rose tonight. Even Citricos is very, very dry tonight. This is where Victoria and Albert is, too, and I really want to go here one of these nights. Oh, did they, are they even open? Wait, they're not open tonight. Do you know why they're not open? You see this? They're not open every night of the week. I think on, I think they're only open what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. I know they're closed a couple nights a week. News to me. I guess the demand for Citricos isn't quite up to where it was before. I don't know. I don't think like since coming back from COVID, I don't think they've been open every single night. Like since they're refurb. Interesting. You know what this place also reminds me of? What? On the Disney cruises, like the garden, the Enchanted Garden. Mm, I can't wait to see that for yeah. myself. Well, this was, that was on the dream. Oh. I thought you said the wish. No, I said the Disney cruise ship. That <laughs> reminds me of the Enchanted Garden. Yeah. I think that's what it was called. It was like on below like the atrium area. I don't know. All I know is I just can't get over it tonight. It's just like, it's just perfect. Bitch a perfect night here. We missed one, but this is when you can actually see them live painted. So there still are working on some. Look at how, I mean, obviously with the color, it adds so much more detail, but seeing the sketches versus what's already colored, that's insane. Talent. Wow. Talent. It is time to eat, and I'm so hungry. Here's a quick look at the menu here, if you guys can see it. I'm probably gonna get some pork belly tacos. That sounds incredible. And maybe some French onion soup too. I don't know, I'm starving guys. Like I am absolutely starving. Might even get a burger too. It's been a while since I've had a Disney burger, but they have like a really good. They've got like a really good selection here. Brie and a bacon pepper jam and a roasted garlic aioli with arugula and brioche bun. What are you looking at? <laughs> the burger. Oh. <laughs> Just kept going with all the amazingness. We thought we were going to be able to dine tonight earlier, seeming like there's actually not that many people here, but nope. We were wrong. But that's okay. Apparently the wait list was like an hour long, not too long ago, so that probably has something to do with it. Yeah, I got a feeling. Yeah. Also, a lot of times restaurants don't fully seat the tables. It depends on how many 
like how much staff there is that night. That makes sense. Yeah, I used to work in a restaurant, so. You did? We ate at your restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. Um, people used to yell at me when they saw open tables and we wouldn't seat them. <laughs> so, never yell at, not, never, ever, ever yell at anybody, for one, but never yell at them for having open tables. I wasn't yelling at them, though. I was just saying. No, no, no. I wasn't saying you. I was saying in general. To all of those watching. Okay. Yeah, never yell, little, yeah. Yell, me, yell. yell at anybody. Don't yell at me, guys. Yell at yell at yourself. No, don't yell at yourself. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> well, I just checked in on the app. This is the first time I've actually seen it on um, the My Experience, the Disney app. You can actually request a booth, a table, or a window spot, or the first available. I've never seen that. That was like the first restaurant here that actually had that offering. I like that. And in we go. It's very hard for you guys to see because of the glare, but oh, you guys see it? We actually have a fireworks view. It's so nice. Isn't that cool? We got lucky. Um, also, the fireworks started a few minutes early tonight. It started at 7.57 p.m. instead of 8, and it must be because there's a storm coming. So they'll modify if needed. Um, so to start, we're going to get some butter and rolls, but how cool that we actually have a fireworks view. We already put our, our food in. I got the pork belly tacos. Casey got a salad and um, French onion soup. And then I decided to go with the burger. What did you get for your main? Oh, Casey didn't get a main. She got two apps. Interesting. This is what Casey's doing pre-dinner, smelling her candles. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I really like these bread rolls and the butter is probably top notch here on, on property. I love this whipped butter. This is really good flavor. Wow. This is really good. Um, it's got great flavor. Now it's not too warm, not too hot. This is a good taco El Pastor. A little of a crunch too, but there is so much flavor in this. Eight out of 10. Honestly, I'm changing my rating up to a 10 out of 10. These tacos are no joke. I'm gonna let Casey enjoy this, but I will say if you guys were here on a royal ship, when Casey had the French onion soup and it was boiling hot, this one is not boiling hot. You can actually eat it right away and it is, it's good. So far, so far, this has been a good meal. Okay, so here's the Grand Floridian Cafe signature burger. It's a seven, seven ounce burger patty on brie, bacon, pepper jam, roasted garlic, aioli, arugula on a brochi bun, brioche, sorry, served with cafe signature fries. I have not had a burger in forever. So if you didn't know, I eat my burgers upside down. I don't know why, I've always done this. And you guys actually pointed out this years ago when I was trying to find the best burger on Walt Disney World property. This is how I eat burgers, like upside down. It looks good, yeah, thank you. It's very juicy. Let's do it. That's a good burger. I mean, I will say, biting on into it, it's definitely more on the medium side, or on the medium rare, but as you can see, it's still juicy. Tons of flavor in this. I haven't had a burger in forever. I'm gonna enjoy this. I got the heirloom apple salad. It's organic baby lettuce, heirloom apples, sharp cheddar cheese, pecan brittle, and crispy prosciutto with a honey apple vinaigrette. Dinner was was very nice. I always it was like grand. what? It was very grand. Oh, it was very grand. <laughs> I always like coming here because it's like a sure bet that there's gonna be a reservation for. Grand Cafe, if you want to come here, do that. Get a reservation for, for that because they're always really strict on parking here, but that's always a sure bet to just come here and visit and get a nice kind of in, inexpensive meal for, you know, Disney for standards, for Disney standards. standards. Yeah. But um, we're going to head home and try uh, some of these desserts or maybe one. I think I have a kind of a cool idea up my sleeve. Casey and I thought of a good idea. For the next three days, we're gonna end the videos by trying one of these desserts, and we're gonna try the Lemon Blueberry Mickey Whoopie. This is the one that Casey wanted, so we're gonna have her try it first, and ooh, mm. there's a blueberry. I have at her. We ate Mickey's ear. Mm -hmm. mm. That tastes like a um, bun cake. It's Does not really it, like overly blueberry. I like that. It tastes like a bunk cake. That is going to end it today's daily vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys come here, this is, there you go to Grand Flow. This is very good. Uh, we're eating this whole thing. Don't even pack that away. I'm eating that whole thing. Honestly, I don't know why I started closing it. 
We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.